Hello YouTube land, welcome to another edition of Jeff's Toy Reviews. I am Jeff and today we are reviewing Transformers Titans Return, Vorath and Mindwipe. So this is the wave two is just coming out. People are reviewing them. I was able to get my hands on him. I'm very happy about that because you know, they're hard to find. Toys R Us isn't carrying that in my area, but uh, I think I, I found this one at Walgreens. So, you know, um, really like this guy. So let's take a look at the packaging first and of course you know there's the nice there's the nice artwork and product shot of him in his bat form um transformers on the side nothing on this side just another product shot or artwork and then this is the back of the packaging let me come in here closer so you can see it and there is his uh bio if you want to read it nice product shot of mind wipe um and his head his headmaster does or his titan master can work with other deluxe voyager and um leader class and including fort max so um so Soundwave, astro train wolf wires is presented and just another product shots and where he can store inside the bat mode so that's it for the packaging there is mind wipe so i'm going to bring the, the camera in here just a little bit i'm going to bring this down and let me there we go that looks about right there's good he does come with the typical gray purple instructions and you know they just fold out like all your other instructions and give you what to do with this weapons and transformation and then on the back is like weapon and and titan master storage and and you know that kind of thing so and then he also comes with the card Everybody likes these cards, right? So, you know, um, Mind Wipe is in red, Vorath is in blue, and you know that's what they do when they combine. So, so let's bring in Mind Wipe. Now, I used to have the G1 version of Mind Wipe, and I sold him um, when I was getting married, so I could pay for the wedding. And yeah. Um, so I kind of miss this that figure, but I do have um, the Fans Project one. Unfortunately, he's not in a place that I can get to him to do a comparison. Maybe I'll do some stills up on my Instagram account. But this is um, this is Vorath and Mindwipe. His head is on a ball joint because of the the figure himself. It's kind of rubber wings. His you can do a full 360. Um, come out. His head is on a ball joint. Um, he does have a bicep swivel that is part of transformation. He does have a double hinge on his elbow, which is also part of transformation. Um, he does not seem to have a, um, yeah, he doesn't have a wrist swivel. That's okay, though. Um, does have this nice blaster. There's some details on there. I'll take that off because I'm going to transform this guy in a minute. And um, his other weapon is the shield. It can act as a shield. And um, it also acts for um, a vehicle for his headmaster or titan master. Um, he does have a wrist swivel. His legs are on a hinge. And he can do just over 90 degrees. It looks 90 degrees. It's, uh, yeah, it's 90 degrees. And then he does have this ankle tilt that is just part of transformation i mean yeah uh, but it doesn't doesn't pivot or anything else so you know this it's just uh um yeah just an ankle moves up and f back and forth that's it. it they already come at an angle you know when he transforms so he stands pretty good um so you know he stands fairly well and um I like this guy. He definitely reminds me of the G1 um, counterpart, and uh, it was really cool to get him with um, at this time, you know, so I didn't have to wait months for him. And here he is with Combiner Wars Rook, and you know they're roughly the same same size. He is a deluxe figure. This is a deluxe figure, so they're going to be roughly the same size. And here he is with Autobot Blur, and um, you know. Again, roughly the same size. Um, what's really cool is he's not a retool of any of the other figures. He's his own 
excuse me. He's his own thing, which is kind of nice. I'm going to raise this up a little bit because i got to transform some stuff. Um, and they really put, they're really, Hasbro is really putting some love, get this guy out of here, in these figures. Um, I like the paint. I like the plastics on them. The joints are good, you know. Um, there's a really up close of his face. Um, I, I really like them. I wish not. Some of them have painted eyes. This one does not. But there's a lot of good sculpting in there. So like if Repro Labels comes out with a sticker set, they've been coming out with eyes and like a little Decepticon or Autobot symbol that'll go over the screw hole to protect that. And his arms on on a ball joint. You know, they don't go very far, but they're on a ball joint. And he can sit. And he can really sit. And then he can lay down. But, you know, um, so he can sit. And his head is facing forward. Now, Mind Wipe's shield, you flip the handle down like so. You bring these out. And then you can have him... There's a little notch here, a little hole here, and his um, tab on the back of his feet. Sit right in there. And, you know, you can have him flying around this way, where it's just guns coming out. Or you can just have him this way, where he's got a little cow coucher or something, you know, some blades to, to get his enemies out of the way. So, um, there's that. I'm going to fold this up and fold this down. Oh, no, like that. I'm going to put that aside for a minute. Okay, so to transform Mind Wipe, we are going to start with the arms first. His fists just fold in the back of his arm or back of his forearm. And then you're going to just come up. Just before you get here, you're going to bring these up and turn it around this way so you're going to have the feet pointing towards his back and then you're going to do the same thing with this guy turn his feet around and like really everything gets into place really solid these joints are great and you're going to swing these down for here for right now and we're going to take his legs and just kind of like blaster and sound wave because they do transform the same. You're going to unfold his wings or his legs into his wings and you're going to bring his foot down like so. And you got this tab here. Oh, well, before we get to that point, we're going to bring this wing all the way down here. And you're going to take this here. And you're going to take this tab. Oops, excuse me, this tab is going to go right here, right above the ball joint. Um, and it's going to peg in. It doesn't really peg in securely. Oh, no, sorry, in the black portion. <laughs> and it just kind of tucks right in there. See that? And then that brings that out like so. Leave the foot back like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to untab the wing. The, this is a soft rubber. And then we're going to bring out the plastic all the way like this. We're going to bring the foot all the way around. And then like so. And we're going to right here behind the fist, you're going to tab this in. And it gets in there really securely and tightly. So that's cool. Oh, I forgot something. I can't believe I did that. I'm sorry. You guys are probably going to go, no. Get that in there like that. you got to fold that back because that's going to be his back wings I don't know I don't know how that works but all right if you say so so then that works like so and then you're going to bring his bat head up like so and that's it right now for mind wipe so far you got his mouth that can open now for his weapon storage he does have weapon storage you're going to take this like this, make sure the tab's up. And he's got a hole in his butt right here. You're gonna, or in his back, depending on how you look at it. And that's weapon storage. It acts as a tail. Now, if any of you have seen the fans project, um, Sigma, what's his name? Sigma, oh my God, I can't remember. 
Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm um, Sigma L. He, um, he he has something kind of. They have something similar. Um, Hasbro took a cue from them, and they have like a coffin here on his chest. This folds out, and you're gonna put him in a seated position like so. And there's a little tab, little hole, slot there. He has the tab on the back of his feet. Oop, started to fold back already on me. Don't do that. Well, tab him like so. He just sits right in there, and that closes right up. And I like him. I like him in his bat mode. I think it's very good. And um, see how tall he is next to a deluxe figure. You know, he's shorter, which is good because he's a bat. He really collapses really nicely. Um, there's a lot of detail in the face. His mouth does open and close. I do like the G1 look more, but this is still pretty good for what you get. Um, considering, you know, the, all the engineering that went into this is, is pretty nice. And, um, you know, there he is on the back. You can see his feet, but you really can't tell that they're feet unless you know, he does have visible hand syndrome, but other than that, you're really not really can't tell what you're looking at. I don't think, I think it looks pretty good. Nicely molded details and the wings and all the way across. And, um, yeah, you know, this is the first of um, the three I've purchased so far. I did get wolf wire and highbrow. I'm waiting for Chrome dome and I'm still looking for brainstorm too. So, um, so that's it for mind wipe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any comments or if there's any things that you want to see, any other um, Transformers or other toys you want me to review, please let me know and I'll gladly do that. If I can afford it, if I can do it, I will. So um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. And to see pictures of these guys up on Instagram, go to my Instagram channel or page at, that's the at symbol, J-M-E-R-C-E-R, -E uh, J Mercer. And 76, so 76 after J M E R 7 uh, M E R C E R 76. And I'll be posting uh, pictures of these guys relatively soon. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for the support. Have yourselves a good one.